Hello everyone. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to set up a coupons UK website within five minutes through RevGlue. So here on RevGlue, we have a module called Rev Embed. So I'm going to click on that Rev Embed. What it means basically that we provide simple websites to set up um, and that you can embed those websites onto your domains or subdomains uh, with a simple piece of code. We will manage all the technology, the database, offers and tracking for you. So here in this module we have cashback and coupons, we have coupons and deals, mobile comparison, broadband comparison and quick shop which is basically a product feed website. In this video I'll be showing you how to set up a coupons and deals website. So for example if I click on it you can see the instance it's a very nice looking coupons website with all the coupons from the top retailers in the UK listed in different categories and we also have the locals or daily deals at the bottom as well. On the top menu uh, we have the category tree and the subcategory tree as well. We have the top stores. Uh, we also have the deal section where we're showing all the um, daily deals. and you can view all the categories, all the subcategories, all the stores and coupons within the stores as well. So if you wish to set up this website on your domain within five minutes, let's follow this process. So the first thing you have to do is create a free affiliate account on revglue.com. So you can click on sign up, create a free account. That's great. I'm just going to sign up with the account I already have. So that's great. I'm on to the dashboard. Um, so if I go to Publisher Tools and then Rev Embed and then Projects, what I can do, I can click on Add New Project. I already have several projects here, which um, I'll show you in a second, but let's add a new project first. So I'm going to select Coupons and Daily Deals project here. And what I need to do, I need to give the URL where this project will be hosted. So it could be your main domain or it could be a subdomain, um, wherever you're going to host it. Um, so you need to decide first because uh, the file you will going to get from RevEmbed needs to be uploaded on that particular domain to verify that you are the owner of the domain. Um, so in that case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder on my test server create a directory. I'm going to call it top offers for example. It could be a subdomain. It could be in you know, a my website forward slash top offers uh, or it could be you know a sorry subdirectory or subdomain like top offers dot my website dot com. Um, it doesn't matter um, but you need to decide at that time that what the domain or the directory would be. So I'm going to call it top offers. So it's in my domain, RevInbed top offers. So for example, I already set up this one. So if I go into top offers, that particular subdirectory, so there is nothing at the moment. So that's the domain. So I'm going to give this domain over here in the system because I'll show you in a second. So let's click on add RevInbed for the coupons and daily deals. So the system has given me a simple file to download and upload on that particular project. So I'm going to do that. Okay, the next step is given me verify. So the first is saying please upload the file on the domain you've given us and then click on verify so we know you are the owner of this domain and then it will start working straight away. So here is the file. So I'm going to click on show in folder and through your FTP just drag the file over to the domain. Sorry, I already had an index file over here, um, so that's why it's giving me uh, one dash name, so you don't need that. Just remove it. So it's index.php. That's it. So the file has been uploaded, and now I'm going to click on verify site. Boom, it has been verified. So the file has been found, you know, over there on that particular domain. So here, previously where there was nothing, no file at all, no website. If I refresh that one now, I should have my coupon instance up straight away. Boom. That's great. My coupon site is live. So it's even less than five minutes, but the coupon site is live with all the categories, with all the subcategories, you know, with all the deal section in there, um, lots of products and rev coupons. 
Now, if I want to change the color scheme of this instance to match it with my, for example, website, if I if I set it up on a subdomain, um, for example, let me show you the custom examples we already have. So here we have, for example, real promo codes. Um, one of our client is kept red. There's called true deals. You know, they have changed into bluish kind of layout. Purple, not blue. <laughs> There is another red one, and there is a green one as well from Smart Trolley. Um, so I'll show you how to change a bit of color scheme um, and some options available in the admin panel for you. So that's my instance. Uh, let me just close that one as well, so we don't get confused. So that's the instance I, I've just set it up um, in top offers page. Now I want to change the logo, and maybe I want to change the color scheme. So what I'll do, I'll search for the instances I already have. So that's the top one, top offers. That's the one I just created. I can go in the edit section. Um, if you by mistake delete um, the instance over here, the file, the file needs to be if file needs to stay on the server. If you um, if you delete it by mistake, so you can always get the file back or verify it again. So I'm going to go into the settings of this instance, and here we have so many different settings we can play around with a particular instance. For example, I can change the name um, or the title uh, of this instance. I can call it, you know, Top Offers UK, you know, any description I want to put it there, that could go in there as well. I want to change the logo. I can remove the current logo. I can put my own logo, upload image. Um, if I want to hide or show the daily deals in the menu, I could do that, you know, um, I can put some contact information, the email address, there's a contact form on the website if you want people to contact you and through, your, through this instance, you know, put your email address, you will get the, um, the email content um, on this email address, a phone number, contact address, if you want to put any kind of, you know, HTML code in the header or footer, for example, Google Analytics in the footer so you can see um, the traffic coming onto your website. You could do that from here as well. Very simple. And then click on save. We have several other options as well. So we got the data settings. So what data um, this instance will be capturing from a user, for example, name and email address um, on the, uh, and this is mainly on the newsletter box we have, for example, here. So if you want to disable anyone, you could do that, but normally it's name and email address. Um, when users register, if you want to capture more information like date of birth, city or phone number, you can enable or disable those as well. In the subscribers, you have two types of subscribers here. So either one of them could be a newsletter subscriber. So for example, let's just refresh that one first. Okay, so you can see the title has been changed, Top Offers UK. Now, if I put some email address here, you know, testsubs.com, sorry, that should be the email. Uh, so I put John email here, click on that. So it's saying, thank you, Lee, I've been subscribed for the newsletter. So if I search that now, oh, great, John is here. So why we created that for the newsletter? So your subscribers on your particular instance are yours basically so you own that data we don't do anything with that um, so you can actually export the results so on a weekly basis maybe on whenever you want to send them a specific newsletter you could use that uh, you know export the data from here and use any um, email template facility um, um, to send them newsletters to drive traffic onto your website so you on these users who are registering on this particular instance, which is yours um, on anywhere on the website, which is for the uh, email and newsletter. Now, th there are some other places as well. For example, on the store detail page, we also have this section, don't miss out the um, new offers. And, you know, so here the user will give his email address. Um, so for example, I'll do that for the test purposes. So it's saying, thank you, you've been subscribed. So if I do the coupons, and type of the coupon subscribers, you know. It hasn't registered for some reason. Let me just check it again. Okay, so let's just refresh it. And then data settings, sorry, subscribers, coupons. Here you go. So it's shown up here, and I've basically uh, given my uh, 
information for the particular store. So when, so what happens on a daily basis when we add the coupons, and if there's a new coupon added for that particular store, this customer will be pinged. Um, so he will get an email that you know, thank you very much for you know opting in for the store coupons, and we have a new coupon here, and here's the link. So th this is dynamic. You don't really have to do anything. This is done by the system itself. But on the newsletter side, uh, you can actually export the data and send them a newsletter specifically. Now let's look at the banners. So we have some banner placements, homepage banner. You can add your own banners, you know, um, either link it with any store page internally or give it external URL if you wish. We also have some more banners um, every single section on the homepage. For example, that's the main banner, first of all. And then we have these banners every uh, after every section. We've got five of them. You can have up to five sections here for the categories to be listed. Um, so you have full control over the banners. You have the blog section, um, so you can add your own blogs um, that would go online, you know, in the blog section in the footer. So people can go on all blogs and view all the blogs. You can write any about anything. Um, then we have the static pages. So about those terms and conditions, privacy policy. So you can always go in, in them and edit them as you like based on your own privacy policy. Um, and these links are showing up in the footer here. So you can add more static pages as well if you wish. Then we have the styling. So at the moment, the default color for rev coupons is actually the red one. But if you your website color is different, you want to match it. So you could easily do that and just select the color combinations. For example, if I go for the green one, save the color, come to the website, and let's refresh it. Boom. So it has changed the header color, you know, the hover color, the text color, some of the colors, I mean, which has been changed to represent the core background white and gray remains the same, but some of the other colors, I mean, the footer color and the header color changes to reflect um, as part of your um, website. So you can change the logo as well, um, as I mentioned. So that's very simple facility to change the color scheme to match it with your website. Then we have some SEO elements, which are all dynamic, but if you want to replace those with something static, you could do that. Then we have tags. Um, so we have top offers on the home page, for example, these are the top offers. So at the moment, they are, once you set up a new instance, they uh, are set by default. But if you think you want to put a different um, store here in top offers, very easily, you can just select the store from here and then tag it. If you want to take any top offers off from here, you can just click on it and it will be taken off. So you can add your own stores in the top offers. Similarly for the top stores, you can actually um, select as many top stores as you like. And then you have the menu categories. So in the menu, which is the top menu over here, you can see the categories and the subcategories. If you think there is particular categories or subcategories you want to show, you want to hide it um, from the users, you could easily do that from here. Just select, you know, on and off. Just make sure always when you select anything on and off, click on the save button as well. And on the right side, same thing for the home page. So on the home page, what happens? we build a block over here. So that block is built on baby and child coupons. So if you think you want to build a block of travel coupons here as well, that's very simple. Go to travel, for example, travel and accommodation, for example. So I'm going to click on this one on, please build a blo block for this category coupons and click on save. I think you can build up to five blocks on the homepage, otherwise it gets really long. Um, so if I refresh it, so we've got baby, we've got health, now we've got travel and accommodation as well. Yep, so the block has been built with six top stores um, and the coupons over here. Um, and that's great. You can disable any category block um, and, you know, depending on your marketing calendar or promotions, if it's Christmas, if it's something else you want to put in through. So you can have different blocks over here. As I mentioned, you can have up to five blocks for the coupons. And then after that, we show the daily offers, which are dynamic again changing. Great, very simple options here. Let's go to the next option, which is API. Now, the data which is showing up here in this instance, if you want this data to be exported and you know maybe set up your own uh, affiliate website and you just want the coupons data, uh, whatever is showing up here, you could do that very easily. 
Um, so you have the stores list, you have the categories, and you have the coupons. So the coupons data is over here. And then for the daily deals, stores, daily deals, categories, and then the API build for per store uh, for the daily deals. Um, so you have the data in JSON, XML, and CSV format. So you can export the data using any way. Um, and this data is offering you the revenue share model. So uh, you don't have to register with the affiliate networks or anything like that. Um, you know, just use the data set up on your websites um, and then show the coupons and offers um, in any way you like it. If you don't like the instance we have set here, but you always have to keep the instance up because if you delete the file over here, the instance won't work. So we need to verify that you are the owner of the domain. Um, another option we have, um, so if, Another option we have is basically we also have on the website called uh, plugins. So if you download the coupons plugin and if you want to set up one of the coupons website with the WordPress option we have and uh, through revenue share, then you can use this ID in there. Um, there's a different video for that, basically how to set up a, a WordPress coupon site with Revimbed. Um, the aim is that uh, through this ID and uh, the plugin is already built in to plug um, this data with your WordPress, that will show up over there as well. But again, you have the you have the API separately. Um, now we have the top menu. So the aim of the top menu at the moment, this is the menu, but there is another top menu before that actually. So the aim of that is basically, for example, if you've got a domain with several subdomains and you know um, subfolders, you wanna if if you want users to go back to the other domains, you could have a top menu. Other you know, so let, let's add a top menu. I'll turn it on. I wanna say you know. Um, my or mobile comparison. If you have a mobile comparison instance as well, so I'll put the URL mobilecomparison.com, and I'll just click on Add, Save, and then if I refresh it, here you go. So the top menu is showing the top. Oh, I mean. I could have more instances of uh, Revimbed, like mobile comparison, um, you know, uh, cashback coupons, um, and I could have all of them up there to shift from one domain to another or shift from one, you know, folder to another very easily. So that's why you got the top menu. If you have your own websites, you know, you could list them up there as well if you want people to go back to your own websites as well. So that's why you have the the, the top menu. And then finally, we have the labels. Um, these are just simple labels on the website. If you think the text is not good enough, if you wish to change it, please do change it as for your own instance. So lots of options here for you to play around with it for you with your own instance. Yep, including the API, the data as well. Now, what would you like to do is on the commission. So what you need to do is drive traffic onto this website through social media, through PPC, whatever you know legal channels you have. Um, and then what will happen, for example, if I click on, you know, get code and we send a user off to the retailer um, to buy the product and utilize that coupon. So I just made an exit click, for example. So in that case, you can always go to your reports. For example, in RevEmbed, if I go to my click report, I should be able to see that click I just made through this instance, top offers. Boom, so it's here. So that was my website, top offers. I clicked on Funky Pigeon. That was a coupon offer. Conversion, no, it hasn't been converted yet. Um, so I can see all my Revimbed clicks over here. And then in the commissions, I'll be able to see if that click converted into um, a commission. All of them will be showing up here, which is very, very easy. I mean, all of them are working through the API. And then as soon as I hit um, the minimum threshold, of uh, my payable commissions, which is 100 pounds, I should get a button like cash out and I can request the cash out in my bank or PayPal account. Um, and I will get paid basically um, in my bank or PayPal account and I can see all my historical payments over here in the cash out. So within Revimbed, you have the projects to set up a new project or view your projects, edit the options in the projects, um, all the projects we are offering in Revimbed module. Um, and then you have the clicks combining all the projects, commission combining all the commissions, and then payments as well. So very easy option. I just showed you how to set up a coupons website within five minutes. It's even actually under three minutes, um, if I'm being honest. <laughs> you just need to provide the URL, 
take the file, put it on your domain, verify the domain, boom, the site goes live. And then you can play with the other options, hide the categories or subcategories, you know, uh, view the stores, top stores, if you want to hide those and put something else in there, you could do that, play around with the website um, and see if you if you like the, the layout of the website. And we, on daily basis, we're adding new offers, coupons um, and daily deals on the website for you. If you have any question, um, just email me on connect at repglue.com. Uh, but the rep coupon instance um, has been recently, just last week actually, we, we just updated um, the UI. It's a lot better um, and uh, it's, it's more user friendly, it's faster, um, and lots of more options have been provided um, in the admin section for that as well. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.